So yeah, a lot of people will, are uh, old friends uh, from out of town here to um, help remind me what Psychonauts is so we can start working on grasslands. But uh, we have been locked up in the cold room uh, brainstorming and talking about ideas for things so they can have an art jam and draw some of the first art for the um, sequel to Psychonauts. Because there's so many ways you can go with the brains, you know? So I'm really bringing all of the brains I can together to create a brainstorm. Oh, that's why they call it that. The whole thing of like implanting certain things like to make people mm -hmm. feel certain ways about you mm -hmm. or about other people. Like make them afraid of you by being a giant monster in their mind, but also if someone has too much of one thing and someone doesn't have enough, like you could take it and put it in there. Like take someone's fear of sharks and give it to someone else. Yeah. That'd be awesome. That'd be a new mechanic that's kind of cool is you can collect some of those terrifying things. Or <laughs> you trap it things. in your Ghostbusters device. <laughs> And then blast it out in someone else's it, brain. That'd be it's cool. awesome. Mm. Mm. It's just like it's just back and forth, like handing the baton back and forth. Like I'm so excited for Tim to just be back there and just like check it all out and make notes and com combine like concepts and things. Yeah, I guess what's the main thing you would like? I mean, we, I mean we could headquarters. Mess with I think it's just such or? an important hub yeah. area. I would like to get a bunch of ideas on that, and then uh, brains. A secret admirer uh, disorder where a person actually thinks that. Everyone's in love with her, or in <laughs> love with him. And then a dead, per a dead person's mind, I think this could be really creepy and weird. Like, would you be in someone's mind and it's all just melting away, like everything is see-through. And it's kind of like, like their brain is decomposing, but their thoughts are still there. And so there's like this ghostly version of a world inside their brain. At this point, just bombard Tim with a million things. And then have him look around and kind of start making connections and figuring out how he wants to do it. And, and then we can come back and make, you know, make all the worlds really amazing.